Hi everybody, this is Courtney with Fiber Fox Studios and today we're going to be learning this super cute little design. This one is, I think it looks like hearts or a flower when it's connected here in the center, but hopefully you think it's just cute in general. So in Christmas colors or something like that, I think it would be really, really cute and can make a really nice pillow or several other things. I have all that down in the description, different starting chains for different project ideas that you can use this design on. And we're going to start off by chaining in a multiple of 16 plus 4. So you want to grab color A and a color B. You're going to begin your chain by chaining in multiples of 16 in color A, which is white for me. And then this peach toned yarn, what's peach or pink, is my color B this time. So we're going to go ahead and zoom on down and get started on the tutorial. Um, before I forget, there are several options available in the chart set. So I have it worked up a few different ways. So if you are interested in the charts and purchasing those, the link to that is down in the description. You, of course, do not have to purchase the chart because I'm going to teach you this complete design, all 17 rows, right here in this tutorial. All right, so we're going to get started on row one. So right here in front of you, you have a total of 36 chains for my swatch. You're going to be chaining in a multiple of 16 plus four at the end. So this one does not match up perfectly with the last two tutorials. This is something new. It's a new multiple. So just make sure that whatever project you are going to do, you are referring down to that description to get an idea of what your chain count should be to start out. So to get that starting chain, hop down to the description along with all the row start times. They're all below. Um, the hook I'm using and all yarn information is also down there. So we begin row one now. And the way that we begin row one is we are going to be skipping this very first chain. So you're going to skip this first chain, not counting the loop that's on our hook. And we're going to do a traditional single crochet here into the second stitch. So by that, I mean we go under the V this time. So at the first and last stitch of every single row, you are always going to go under the V doing a traditional single crochet in those stitches. The rest of our stitches for this entire row are going to be the back loop only single crochet. So I'll be referring to that as a single crochet throughout the rest of the video. But you are just simply picking up the back loop. So this one right here on the side all by itself, top side, pick up that one loop and do a single crochet just like normal from there. So you can pause here and meet back up with me when you're ready for row number two. Row number two, we're going to be switching over to color B. So make sure that you have color B ready. And this row two will be exactly like row one. We're going to be doing those back loop only single crochets in all of the stitches. So if you want to jump ahead to row three, if you're more experienced, you're more than welcome to do so. And we'll be back in just a moment. We're here at the end of row one, and I just want to show real quick how we handle that last stitch in the row. So I've made it all the way down. I have one stitch left, and this is another stitch where we must do the under the V. We're going to be doing our traditional single crochet. So we're going under that V, pulling up our loop, and finishing out from there doing the single crochet like normal. And then for me, I like to chain up two and then clip my yarn to bind off. So that's how I'll be doing a bind off. At the end of the row, you can do whatever bind off you are most comfortable with. And now we begin row two next. So we're gonna be grabbing color B for row two. Row two begins now, and I'm gonna show you how you join on each and every row. I'll only be showing this one time. So we're back here at the beginning of row one, and we're going to identify the very first V. So you see the V right there. That's what we're going for. There's actually a turning chain, or in this case, it's the chain that we skipped. Creates a little bump. So some of you, when you look at the beginning of your row, you might see something like this. You just scoot it down out of the way. We're going for the V. So we insert into the stitch under the V. Add on color B now. So I just have a little slip knot there. Draw up that loop. We do a chain one. And then we go back down into the same exact stitch and finish up our first single crochet of the row. So your first and last stitch are always the traditional single crochet where you go under the V and do your stitch. 
So that's how we do the very first stitch in the row and join on our new color. So the repeat for row number two is exactly like row number one. We're working a single crochet in that back loop in each and every stitch all the way down. And then last stitch in the row will be another traditional single crochet. So you can pause here and meet back up with me when you're ready to move on to row number three. Row three begins now by joining on with color A this time. So we're going to begin the repeat for row three immediately. So you join on with color A. So for me, that's the white yarn. Now we're going to begin doing the repeat. The repeat for row three starts with three of our double crochets worked over these next three stitches. So the way we work our double crochet is we wrap our yarn around our hook. We identify our very next stitch and then we slide down. We're looking for this front loop that's left by us doing the back loop only single crochet. So we're gonna pick up that front loop, and now we draw up another loop. So yarn over them, pull up a loop, and keep nice loose tension. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So that's our first double crochet, and that's how all of our double crochets are worked throughout the entire project. So now we're gonna do number two. So we're gonna identify our next stitch, and then we slide down two rows below, picking up that front loop. There's our second double crochet. And here is our third. Again, next stitch. And we finish up with our double crochets. So now we need to work a total of five single crochets over these next five stitches. So we just identify this very next stitch pick up that back loop and do our single crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Now we need to do one double crochet right here, very next stitch. I'm gonna wrap. Now we need to do five single crochets over the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we're going to end the repeat by doing two double crochets in these next two stitches. There's one, and here is number two. And that ends the repeat. So we're gonna recap that repeat, which began over here with a total of three double crochets. Then we did five single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, and two double crochets. So you're just going to start your repeat over immediately and keep working that same exact set of stitches on down the rest of your row. And then we'll meet back up when you're ready for row number four.
we're here at the end of row number three and I have exactly two stitches left and I've just completed a repeat right here. So I've completed my second repeat of the design. So now I have these two stitches left and this is how all of your rows are gonna work out. You're gonna have two stitches left at the end of each and every row and each row end will be worked the same. So the row end is worked by starting the repeat over for one stitch. So whatever your repeat begins with, on the row that you're on, that is the stitch that you're going to do right here in the second to last stitch before the end of the row. And then you will do a traditional single crochet in the very last stitch. So for row three, our repeat begins by doing a double crochet. So that's what we're gonna do right here in this very next stitch. And this is in our second to last stitch. So now we complete our double crochet. And then very last stitch here in this row, we do a traditional single crochet going under that V. And then of course you chain up two or bind off however you prefer. Row four begins now and we join on with color B this time. Now we start our repeat for row four immediately and that repeat begins by doing three single crochets over these next three stitches. So we're just simply going to be working same as we have been in that back loop. And we'll do our three single crochets. So there's one, two, and three. Now we need to do one double crochet right here, the very next stitch. three single crochets over the next three stitches. There's one, two, and three. One double crochet right here into the very next stitch. One single crochet here into the very next. One double crochet right here, very next stitch. Three single crochets over these next three stitches. one, two, and three. Now we will do one double crochet right here, very next stitch. I'm splitting my yarn, so let's try that again. There's our one double crochet. And now we're gonna end our repeat by doing two single crochets over these next two stitches. There's number one, and here is number two. So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat began over here when we did a total of three single crochets. Then we did one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and then we end the repeat with two single crochets. So if you take a look at what you're doing, you're actually just framing out around the double crochets from the previous row. So you're just forming those little boxes. So when you reach this box here, you're going to do double crochet, three single crochets, double crochet, then you single crochet on top, double crochet beside it, 
fill that across with single crochets and then another double crochet. So it's really simple to do this. If you just look at what you're actually doing, you're going to be working, starting your repeat again with your three single crochets next. So you'll just work single crochets across the double crochets and then double crochet right beside it. So we'll be back for row number five in just a moment. We're back for row number five now. So row number five begins with color A by joining on with color A, I should say. So we've got color A joined on with our traditional single crochet. And now we begin the repeat for row number five by doing one double crochet right here. The very next stitch. Slide down. Now we're going to do three single crochets over the next three stitches. So remember, we're always working in that back loop. So there's one. Here's number two. And number three. Now we're going to do one double crochet right here into this very next stitch. One single crochet right here into the next stitch. One double crochet right here in the next. One single crochet right here in this very next stitch. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Now we end the repeat by doing a total of three single crochets over the next three stitches. Here's number one, number two, and number three. So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat began over here when we did one double crochet. Then we did three single crochet, one double crochet, one 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 single crochet, one double crochet, and three single crochet. <laughs> it's a lot, but it's really not when you look at what you're actually doing. You are framing, doing framework here inside of the boxes that we made. So those little squares become smaller squares. So it's pretty simple once you look at what you are actually doing. So you're going to begin your repeat again with your double crochet and keep working that exact same set of stitches on down the rest of your row. And then we will meet back up when you're ready for row number six. Keep in mind, row start times for the repeats are down in the description. So if you need to see this again, you can pop down there and hit the timestamp and it'll bring you right back to the beginning of the row. Row six begins now by joining on with color B. And this time we are going to be starting out our repeat immediately, but with a single crochet right here in the very next stitch. So we're going to identify that next stitch and just finish out a single crochet. Now we're going to do one double crochet right here, the very next stitch. We're going to do a total of three single crochets over these next three stitches. 
So identify that very next stitch. There's one. Two. And three. Now we will do one double crochet right here into this very next stitch. So we're right there in the center of that square. Now we're going to do one single crochet right here, very next. One double crochet right here. One single crochet right here in the center. One double crochet in the very next stitch. One single crochet. One double crochet. Now we're going to do one single crochet, well, a total of three single crochets. So there's one, here's number two, and number three. Now we'll do one double crochet right here to end our repeat. So let's recap that repeat. So our repeat began over here when we did one single crochet. We then did one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, and we end the repeat with one double crochet. So if you take a look at what you're doing, you're just kind of framing out. So you're going to repeat that on down the rest of your row. You'll start out immediately with your single crochet and keep doing that same set of stitches. And then we'll meet back up when you're ready for row number seven. Remember, end of the row, you're going to have two stitches left. You will restart the repeat for the second to last stitch. And then last stitch in the row is always the traditional single crochet. We're back for row number seven and row seven begins by doing um, or joining on with color A and then we're going to begin the repeat by working a double crochet right here in the very next stitch. So we're gonna start off with a double crochet. Now we're going to do one single crochet right here in the very next stitch followed by one double crochet. We're gonna do three single crochets over the next three stitches. So number one, number two, and number three. Now we're going to do one double crochet right here in this very next stitch. One single crochet, the very next stitch. One double crochet right here in the next. One single crochet right here in the very next stitch. one double crochet three single crochets over the next three stitches here's one 
number two, and number three. Now we're going to do one double crochet right here in this next stitch. And then we end the repeat by doing one single crochet in the very next stitch. So let's recap our repeat. Our repeat began over here with one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and we end the repeat with one double crochet. So let's take a look at what we're actually doing. And it's just more framework. So you'll begin your repeat again by starting with your double crochet and keep working that same exact set of stitches on down the rest of your row. And then we will meet back up when you are ready to move on to row number eight. We're back for row number eight and we begin row eight by joining on with color B this time. Our repeat for row eight begins immediately by doing a single crochet into the very next stitch. So we're just gonna identify the next stitch, do one single crochet. Now we're going to do one double crochet right here in the very next stitch. followed by five single crochets working directly across this section. Here's number one, number two, number three, number four, and five. Now we're going to do one double crochet right here in the very next stitch. One single crochet right here in the very next stitch. One double crochet. Now we're going to do a total of five single crochets over the next five stitches. There's number one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to end the repeat by doing one double crochet right here in the very next stitch. And that ends the repeat for row number eight. So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat began over here with one single crochet. Then we did one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, and we end the repeat with one double crochet. So you'll we'll start back over that same set of stitches. So it begins with a single crochet, and then keep working all the way down. Last two stitches in the row will be a repeat uh, start for the first of the two, and then last stitch in the row is always a traditional single crochet. So you will just restart your repeat for one stitch and then do your traditional single crochet in the last. So we'll be back in just a moment for row number nine. We are back for row nine and row nine begins by joining on with color A. Our repeat for row nine begins immediately and that repeat is one double crochet followed by 15 single crochets. So this is a super easy repeat. So we're going to begin that now. We do one double crochet here in the next stitch. Two, three, four, five, 
Now we need to do a total of 15 single crochets for the rest of the repeats. Our repeat is really simple this row. We are doing one double crochet, 15 single crochets as our repeat all the way down the row. So I'm doing the second single crochet. Here's number three. Number four. Five. Six. Seven. Number eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And that ends the repeat. So we'll recap that real quickly. Our repeat begins with one double crochet. And then we do 15 single crochets to end that repeat. So you're just going to start back over doing your repeat. And you'll notice that what you're actually doing is just keeping the separation between the sets of the design. So when you work across, you're going to be working directly across this section with single crochets. And in between your two designs, you're going to place your double crochet. So that's in between the full set or the full repeat. So you're just going to finish up the rest of this row and then you'll come back and meet up with me when you're ready for row number 10. Row 10 begins now by joining on with color B this time and we're gonna begin the repeat for row 10 immediately. And that repeat begins by doing a total of seven single crochets over the next seven stitches. So we're gonna begin by identifying that next stitch, getting our yarn out of the way. And we just begin doing our single crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and last but not least, number seven. Now we're going to do one double crochet right here into the very next stitch. One single crochet. one double crochet, and then we are going to end our repeat by doing a total of six single crochets over the next six stitches. Number one, two, three, four, five, and number six. So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat began over here when we did our first single crochet. We did a total of seven single crochets to start our repeat. Then we did double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, and we end with six single crochets. So you're essentially just gonna be doing single crochets across, and then when you get to this section, that's where you're gonna have a double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. So to kind of give you an idea of what you're doing, it's pretty simple repeat. So you may pause here and come back and meet up with me when you're ready for row number 11. Row number 11 begins now by joining on with color A this time. And we begin the repeat for row 11 immediately, which begins with one double crochet worked right here in the very next stitch. So we're just going to identify that next stitch, slide down, and pick up that front loop. 
Now we're going to do a total of 15 single crochets to end the repeat. So we just start working our single crochets. So there's number one, two, three, all these tails in my way, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Twelve, it's a lot of single crochets, thirteen, fourteen, and last one, number fifteen. So let's recap. So we did, uh, we, our repeat started over here when we did our double crochet. And then we did 15 single crochets. So again, this is another one where we're just separating the patterns. So you're going to begin again by doing your double crochet, followed by 15 single crochets and keep repeating that same set of stitches on down the rest of your row. We'll meet back up when you're ready for row number 12. Row 12 begins now by joining on with color B. So you're going to join on with color B, and our repeat is going to begin immediately. And that repeat begins by doing one single crochet right here in the very next stitch. One double crochet right here in the next. Five single crochets worked over the next five stitches. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to do one double crochet. Try not to split your yarn. One single crochet worked right here in the next stitch. Then one double crochet right here in the next. Five single crochets over the next five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And our repeat will end by doing one double crochet right here in that next stitch. So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat began over here when we did one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So you're just gonna start back over with that same set of stitches and keep working on down the rest of your row and then we will meet back up when you're ready for row number 13. We're back and this is what your work is looking like and we are about to begin row 13. So you need to join on with color A this time and we'll begin our repeat immediately for row 13. And that repeat begins by doing one double crochet into the next stitch. Here is our one double crochet. 
Now we will do one single crochet. Very next stitch. Followed by one double crochet. Three single crochets over the next three stitches. Here's one. Two. And three. Now we will do one double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Three single crochets. There's one. Two. And three. Now we're going to do one double crochet. And we will end the repeat by doing one single crochet right here in the next stitch. So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat began over here with one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and one single crochet. I know it seems like a lot, but we're just doing more framework. That's all we're really doing. So we'll be pausing here. You can come back and meet up with me when you are ready to move on to row Number 14. Row 14 begins now by joining on with color B this time. And we're going to begin our repeat for row 14 immediately. And that repeat begins with one single crochet worked right here in the very next stitch. One double crochet here in the next. We're going to do a total of three single crochets over the next three stitches. So identify that very next stitch. Here's one, two, and three. We'll do one double crochet right here in the next stitch. Keep wanting to split that front loop today. Now we're going to do one single crochet. Very next stitch. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets over the next three stitches. There's one, two, three. One double crochet, 
And that ends our repeat. So let's recap our repeat. Our repeat began over here with one single crochet. We did one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, and then one double crochet ends the repeat. So you're going to start back over doing that same set of stitches and finish up row 14, and then you'll meet back up with me when you're ready for row number 15. Row 15 begins now, and we're going to begin by joining on with color A this time, and then our repeat for row 15 is going to begin immediately, and that repeat begins by doing one double crochet right there in the very next stitch. Now we're going to do three single crochets over the next three stitches. So here is number one. Number two. And number three. Now we're going to do one double crochet right here in the very next stitch. one single crochet one double crochet one single crochet one double crochet Oops, got a split. One single crochet, sorry about that. One double crochet. One single crochet. And last but not least, one double crochet. So do a series, a total of five double crochets when we're doing that. Now we're going to end our repeat by doing a total of three single crochets over the next three stitches. So here's one, two, and three. Now we're going to recap our repeat. So we start over here with one double crochet and then we do three single crochets and then we begin the series where we're doing a double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. <laughs> and then we end with three single crochets. So right here, the best tip I can give you on working this section is start counting with this first one. When you've done this a total of five times, one, two, three, four, and five, then your section is done that you're just doing your double crochet, single crochet. And then you'll end with your three single crochets and start all back over starting with your double crochet and then you'll keep working your repeat stitches on down the rest of your row and then we'll be meeting back up when you're ready to move on to row number 16. We've only got row 16 and row 17 left to go. Row 16 begins now and row 16 begins by joining on color B and then we will begin our repeat for row 16 immediately. And that repeat begins with three single crochets worked over these next three stitches. So we're just going to start working our single crochet. So there's one, there's number two, and number three. Now we're going to do one double crochet right here in this very next stitch.
Now we're going to do three single crochets over the next three stitches. Here's one, two, and three. Now we're going to do one double crochet right here in the very next stitch. So there's one. Oops. Now we're going to do one single crochet right here in the very next stitch. One double crochet right here in this next. And three single crochets over the next three stitches. So here's one, two, and three. Now we'll do one double crochet right here in the very next stitch. And then we will finish up our repeat by doing a total of two single crochets over these next two stitches. So here's number one and here is number two. And that ends our repeat for this row. So we're going to recap that repeat. Our repeat began over here when we did a total of three single crochets. We then did one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and then we end the repeat with two single crochets. So you'll just pick back up on your repeat and start with your three single crochets and keep working on down the rest of your row. And then we will be back for row number 17, which is our final row. Row 17 begins now by joining on with color A, and we begin the repeat for row number 17, our final row, right away with three double crochets over the next three stitches. So we're just gonna identify that next stitch, slide down and begin doing double crochets. So here is number one. Here's number two. And last but not least, here's number three. So that's the beginning of our repeat. And now we're going to begin moving on down by doing five single crochets over the next five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to do one double crochet right here in the center. Oops. Five single crochets over the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we will end our repeat by doing a total of two double crochets over the next two stitches to finish that out. So here's one, and here is number two. So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat began over here when we did our total of three double crochets. Then we did five single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets and two double crochets. So you're just simply gonna start back over with the three double crochets and keep working that same set of stitches on down the rest of your row. And then you will be finished with one full repeat of this design. So for those of you who are making a project with this and wanting to use this same design for multiple repeats of it in a project or for the entire project, 
all you are going to need to do is rewind back to row number two and begin working rows two through 17 over and over as many times as you like to achieve this design multiple times. So hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial and you found it helpful and useful and you're going to make something super pretty out of this. And until next time, bye for now. If you are not already subscribed, please make sure that you hit subscribe and ring that notification bell right next to it so that you don't miss any of our Mosaic Mondays.